guys so we just made it to old san juan mm -hmm. originally when uh, ashley came and i picked her up we came straight here but we were in blogging back then so we decided to come and show you guys how uh, all the beautiful old san juan looks and it's something else yeah so we're just gonna take you guys with us and show you guys some cool places buildings have been here for a, long, for a very long time. A lot of them have been here since the Spanish colonies came. And we're still in the bottom of it, so we're basically where the, where the cruise ships take off and everything. This is the lower part of Ozan one. And we're making our way up into the actual forts and San Felipe del Morro, all that, all that beautiful stuff. Follow me, Mr. We just took a quick stop at the gelato's place and we got this bacon hazelnut gelato and it tastes mm -hmm. amazing. It's really good. You murdered the ice cream. I always do. Hello guys. Um, so now we're, we made it to the La Plaza de Valdeorioqui de Castro. We're right here. Um, there's pharmacies around, there's subways. Nothing, nothing crazy. Supermax. That uh, that place is open 24/7. That's good. We got like a little more. Oh, it's on. It's like a gelato place. It's right down this yeah, road. Down this, yeah, on this road over. On your yeah, left. left. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Seems like you already spotted the gelato from far now. <laughs> Felipe del Morro is, it's a fort that we used in the, in the colony, when the colonials were here and it was used to well, keep the uh, boats and everything else away from the coast so basically we were, the war was happening and everything like that we would have cannons and shoot at the boats and everything That up there is El Togo. A lot of people, a lot of people just use it as a skate park. Like they use their skates and they do recreational skating, they're doing tricks. Sometimes they put on a show for people. El Morro is open for the public. And a lot of people like to fly kites and everything down there for the show. Mm -hmm. Pretty fun. So Ashley's gonna make us go right across the whole. Here, so that I can take a picture. Yeah, she wants a picture over there, so we're just gonna cross. We gotta walk around her. Kites yeah, we're gonna have to wash our feet. A lot of fallen kites around here. There's like a cemetery down there. Yeah, and all these people are. Just enjoying the beautiful breeze and the beautiful Saturday we're having. This is incredible. There's no words to describe how beautiful, how amazing it feels down here. The sun's pretty heavy and everything, but the wind that takes place in this spot, it's unbelievable. So you like the birds so far, Ash? Yeah. What? Really pretty. Awesome.
all the way up to the fort because there is just too many people. Um, and a lot of people so, aren't wearing masks. And but that's okay, we still got the view. And now we're just walking around. And we're gonna go to El, pra el Paso de la Princesa. We're gonna go to El Parque de las Palomas. That's the part where you feed all the birds and the doves. So that's gonna all be right. sick. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> you hear me talking. It's closed right now. The actual park is closed right now. But I guess you can still buy some corn and feed them if you want. Mm -hmm. They created the pina colada. They actually have a competition with another place because they're not sure which bartender actually created it. Um, so we're going to try them out here and then, yeah, we'll let you know how it is. It's amazing. We still don't know if they're the first or the second, but I'll give you that. They're great. <laughs> That's the Tonicella Isla Verde, where the cockfights take place in the Central Hall. 